two, one, starting. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Broadband Ohio Alliance meeting. I very much appreciate everyone being here, especially our guests who are going to give a wonderful presentations today. We're going to give it just one more minute. I'm going to share with everyone the agenda so that you can see kind of the, the run of show today. And when my clock says 133, we will begin. just to give everybody a chance to get on. All right. Give me one second. Okay, it is now 133. We will get this meeting underway. So as I said before, thank you so much everyone for joining the Broadband Ohio Alliance meeting. I very much appreciate everyone being here. Um, I could make a joke about how I could say good morning everyone as the last time that I presented here at the Broadband Ohio Alliance, I kicked us off by saying good morning instead of good afternoon. Um, but this time I got it right the first time. So we're gonna we're gonna keep it that way. Um, so I appreciate everyone's time. We have quite a few presentations to get through. So we will get started immediately first. I want to introduce Lieutenant Governor John Husted, who's going to open our meeting with a few remarks. Lieutenant Governor, the floor is yours. Thank you, Peter. Uh, great to be able to join everybody today in the uh, in the progress phase. We're in the progress phase. Uh, I want to thank uh, Representative Carfagna for his leadership in helping get legislation passed and getting the resources and the budget. So now we're in a position to move 250 to $270 million of broadband connectivity grants uh, into the marketplace to help make the economics of this work and to help expand broadband, high speed, affordable broadband to the people of Ohio who need it so they can participate in the modern economy, healthcare and education system like everybody else. Uh, we've continued to see data back up the fact that there are a high, high number of people in Ohio who do not have access to high speed, uh, affordable internet services. Uh, $270 million will not do it all. Uh, we're, but we're hopeful that the great participation that we have from our partners in that process will, op will open up new uh, ideas and ways to successfully expand uh, internet in Ohio and high speed internet in Ohio. I know that we will be continuing to work with our friends at the federal level to see what resources may be available there uh, to enhance the already robust effort at the state level. And we will uh, with the strategy and uh, and Peter's leadership, which the governor and I are counting on and director Mahalik's leadership and Everybody else will get this uh, done in and in, 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 uh, the grants uh, approved and moving out to uh, start changing people's lives for the better. So thank everybody for being uh, part of this and and uh, thanks for giving me a chance to share a few thoughts. Thank you so much, Lieutenant Governor. We really appreciate Peter, it. Peter, and when I say we need to go what? Fill in the blank. What is the blank word that I'm looking for? Faster. Always faster. There we go. To go faster. 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 It's Thank exactly you. right. We are going to keep doing as we are going to go as fast as we possibly can. Thank you so much, Lieutenant Governor, for those words. We very much appreciate you being here and opening us up for the second meeting. Thank you so much. And now I would like to introduce the director of the Department of Development, Lydia Mahalik, for our welcome. Director Mahalik, I will <laughs> turn the floor over to you. Oh, thanks, Peter. And thank you, Lieutenant Governor. Uh, this certainly is an exciting time, and you're right. Uh, I don't know that um, I, I don't know that we're working fast enough, quite frankly. Uh, we we pushed Peter pretty hard. Uh, the the entire team at at uh, Broadband uh, Ohio is is doing a great job, and they are definitely moving uh, with a sense of urgency. Uh, every time uh, we see them, we're asking uh, them to go to go faster. Um, 
we uh, we certainly are excited uh, to see uh, all of you uh, today. This is our, of course, our second alliance meeting. There's a ton of value uh, in in you being a part uh, of everything that we're doing uh, in in this in this effort. Um, you're giving us a ton of feedback. Uh, uh, the team here at Development knows uh, that I feel uh, that feedback is a gift. Uh, we're learning a lot uh, from you. Uh, we've certainly been able uh, to do a lot uh, in the last uh, couple of years. Uh, of course, at Broadband Ohio, we've released the state's broadband strategy. We've created the the office. Uh, we're, we're working every day uh, to staff it up more and more. Uh, we're a small but mighty team, uh, that's, that's for sure. We've mapped the availability uh, of broadband uh, across uh, the state so that we know where the pockets are uh, that we, we need to work, uh, work at uh, to get better. We've provided resources for students uh, during uh, the pandemic. Uh, and we've worked, of course, uh, with uh, the legislature and our partners uh, like Representative Carfagna uh, to, to identify funding uh, for some of these really innovative broadband projects uh, across the state. Uh, and I am really excited uh, about getting these dollars and these resources uh, out the door. Uh, and of course, we have this new Ohio Residential uh, broadband expansion grant program, uh, which uh, we have up and running and ready to take applications on September 6th. Right, Peter? Uh, and right. we, we had a webinar yesterday, uh, which I'm sure a lot of you uh, were, uh, were happy about uh, to be able to go over the application in detail. Uh, and that webinar is soon going to be posted on the application website, which we launched yesterday, right? We launched the website yesterday, Peter? Yeah, OK, we sure did. The website is up and running. I remember clicking on that yesterday. I'm just making sure that, you know, those of us uh, who those of you who may know me know I'm technologically challenged uh, in a lot of ways. Uh, so I'm just glad th uh, that it's working. Uh, and of course, applications are due by five o'clock uh, on November 8th. Uh, so we're moving as fast as possibly uh, as, as we possibly can. Uh, and we're really grateful for the feedback uh, that you're giving us. and um, we're excited uh, about the good work uh, that we're going to continue to do, and um, we're excited about uh, what the future holds. So thank you very much, Peter, to you and your team. Uh, thank you, Representative, for all the support uh, that you're giving us. And uh, thank you uh, to all the members of the Alliance for uh, being here with us today. And uh, let's continue to get to work and do great things uh, for the state of Ohio. So have a great day, everyone. Take care. Good to see you all. Thank you so much, Director. Thank you for those comments and thank you for being a part of our second Alliance meeting as well. We really appreciate it. So since the last time we met, our staff has grown a little bit. I want to introduce, want to introduce everyone to Amy Elbor, our Deputy Chief of Grants and Special Projects, to just introduce herself, um, especially because she's going to be interacting with a lot of you on the Ohio Residential Broadband Expansion Grant. So Amy, the floor is yours. Thanks everyone. Good afternoon. My name is Amy Elbor. I'm the Deputy Chief of Grants and Special Projects for Broadband Ohio. Um, as Peter said, I will be the main point of contact for all things grants for Broadband Ohio. Um, and as the director mentioned, we held our first technical assistance webinar yesterday. We had about 126 people attend, which is a, an amazing turnout. The webinar PowerPoint and our um, frequently asked questions document will be posted on our webpage in the next coming days. So please feel free to check that out. Um, you can also access our website um, through development.ohio.gov. So please sure, make sure to visit it. Um, you can find more information about the grant on the web page as well. Um, and as the director mentioned, um, you can look at the application right now. You can fill it out. You just can't submit it yet. You'll be able to submit it on Monday, September, September 6th. And then again, the applications are due Monday, November 8th. All those dates and all the instructions are on our web page. Um, but if you would like to contact me, please feel free to reach out. My email address is amy, A M Y, dot Elbor, E L B A O R, at development.ohio.gov. Thank you. Great. Thank you so much, Amy. And it's great to have you be a part of our team. The, the grant program you have worked tirelessly on, and we really appreciate that. You're the, really the mastermind behind the webinar and a lot of the different parts of that program. So we really appreciate all the help that you've given. So since last we met, Ohio House Bill 2, which created the Ohio Residential Broadband Expansion Grant, was signed into law by Governor DeWine. 
Today, we have Representative Carfagna, who is the sponsor of the legislation and someone who has worked tirelessly on the issue of bringing broadband to people who did not have it since taking office. Representative, we're very pleased to have you here, and please, feel, we, we look forward to your comments this morning, or this afternoon. See, I did it again. I said this morning, and it's this afternoon. We are very fortunate to have you. Thank you so much, Representative. The floor is yours. Good afternoon, everyone. Great to be here, Peter. Thank you uh, for providing this this forum. Um, you know, I've said it before, you know, just to give some perspective on how long this effort took, uh, it crossed over into three general assemblies across four House speakers, two governors and two Senate presidents. So, you know, there's something to be said for, I think, having some stamina and 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 uh, and I'm deeply grateful to um, really everybody 